Have you ever seen the United States flag and wondered to yourself, what do all those red, white, and blue stars and stripes even mean? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. On June 14th, 1777, not even a year after signing the Declaration of Independence, the flag resolution was passed in the U.S. It said that, quote, the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field, representing a new constellation. Huzzah! A flag was born. Since that first design with 13 stars, the American flag has been updated 26 different times. The 13 alternating stripes have always stayed the same, but the size, shape, design, arrangement, and number of stars has slowly changed as more and more areas gained official statehood. Today, the flag looks the same as it has since 1960, the last time the flag was changed to add the 49th and 50th stars after Alaska and Hawaii became states. It has 13 horizontal stripes that alternate color, seven red and six white. Those stripes are meant to symbolize the original 13 colonies. The stars, of course, represent the 50 states that make up the country. There are nine rows alternating between five and six stars. Even the color choices themselves are meant to be symbolic. Red is meant to stand for hardiness and valor, white for purity and innocence, and blue for vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Since the United States flag has stayed exactly the same for most of our lives, it can be hard to imagine it ever changing again. But it's possible. There are places like Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, and American Samoa that are territories of the U.S., but aren't fully-fledged states as of 2022. If any of them were ever to gain full statehood, like Alaska and Hawaii before them, then surely the flag would be updated to add extra stars for the new states. Speaking of states, ever since the 1700s, they've slowly adopted their own flags too often designing them to reflect the land, people, and culture of the state. And it definitely doesn't stop at the state level. Cities, towns, communities, and schools often have their own flags to fly with pride. So this 4th of July, fly whatever represents you. And if you can't find that, well, make your own flag. 